In the last video, we had a look at the introduction and pin configuration of the STM32 microcontroller for communication with the LoRa transceiver. In this video, I will be writing a simple blinky LED example in C++ using a class to ensure that we can configure STM32 cube IDE properly. To do that, we have to set up the IDE properly. We need to set up the IDE to compile the program in C++ and also we need to change the extension of the file from C to C++. Let's do it step by step. First, right click on the project and select convert to C++. By doing that, we tell the compiler whenever is going to compile the program follow C++ syntax. Step number two, we have to rename main.c to main.c++. To ensure everything is fine, let's compile the program first. All right, looks good. Seems there is no error. The compiler is ready to write a C++ program. Let's get started. I always follow a strategy whenever I am writing a new program. I create a folder, I call the folder my app. Inside the folder, I create two subfolder, one for include and second for the source code. You might find it useful if you follow this strategy. The strategy makes your program organized. You know where are the file is located and whenever you want to change anything, then you just refer to this folder. Once I create the subfolder, I'm going to add two more files. My app.h inside the include folder and my app.c++ inside the source code. Make sure the extension of the source code is C++. Let's compile the program one more time to ensure there is no error. To avoid any future error, we have to add the path of the directory which we already created. To do that, select the project, go to property, make sure you add include folder and also source folder. In the header file, I'm going to declare a class. The class name is LED and it has one public function is called uh, toggle LED. This function is responsible to change the status of the pins which is connected to the LED. In the source code, I'm going to write the detail of the method of the class. Let me compile the entire code and see whether we have any error. That's great, there is no error. Let me program my board and change the delay. Let me change the value of the function input from 1000 to 100 and see what will happen. That's great, we achieved what we were looking for. In this video, my goal was to show you how you can write the C++ program inside the Steam32 Cube IDE. 
So this would be the basic or fundamental part of the LoRa programming. In the next video, I'm going to write a program to reset and bring the chip to the standby mode. If you find this series of tutorial video useful, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video.